Wednesday, August 7th, 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of typhoons over in the western Pacific Ocean, getting ready to stir some very large waves of 20 to 25 feet. We're looking at here at windy.com. These are the two storms. I'll show you the names of the storms here in just a moment. It's pretty active over in the Pacific Ocean, very quiet over on the Atlantic side as we're encountering a dust storm again, much like we did last year. Only difference was last year, Mars was also involved in a planetary-wide dust storm with planet Earth. 2018 global dust storm on Mars. The only difference was Mars was in a different location with regard to its orbit around the Sun. Mars was directly over here behind the Earth. Now Mars is opposite of Earth on the other side of the Sun. Earth is above the ecliptic, which means it's hurricane season in the northern hemisphere. When we go above the ecliptic plane, that means that it's hurricane season above the equator of planet Earth. When we go below the ecliptic plane, that means it's hurricane cyclone season below the equator of planet Earth. But for some reason, the last two years, we've seen dust storms in the western hemisphere of planet Earth as we go above the ecliptic plane. And don't really know why, but that's the case this year, and that was the case last year. There are cyclones and uh, typhoons generating over in the Pacific Ocean as there's not much dust over there. The dust is hampering cyclone and hurricane formation over in the Atlantic Ocean, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just what's causing the, the dust storms as we go above the ecliptic plane. It's done it now, like I said, two years in a row, and last year when Mars was behind the Earth, did the same thing. This dust is traveling north up into Spain, France, parts of Italy and South Central Europe. So look for another possible heat wave as we move into this weekend, especially in France, uh, Northern Europe, you can look and it feel like temperatures of 103, 105. That's on Sunday, uh, early Sunday, early Sunday afternoon. And that's going to spread into Eastern Europe for the next 24 to 48 hours, beginning on Saturday the 10th through the 11th and 12th. Like I said, as that dust moves north. And that dust is going to be around for a while, so there will be no hurricane formation in the Atlantic Ocean as long as there's a lot of dust like we're seeing this year and last year. But they are forming over in the Pacific Ocean. The two storms that we're looking at that are going to create some very large waves, one storm's about to make landfall. And you can actually see them both here. This storm right here, it's a tropical storm at the moment, or actually now it's been upgraded to a Cat 3. This one here is a tropical storm about to become a Category 1. The storm's name is Tropical Storm Crosa, and the other storm is Typhoon Lakima. And Lakima is about to make landfall in East Central Asia, generating waves of 20, 25 feet in places before it makes landfall, becoming a Cat 4, quite possibly becoming a Category 5 storm. This is an estimate for tomorrow, August the 8th, and this storm is expected to possibly rapidly intensify, becoming much, much larger. This one over here is the smaller storm, but right now it's much stronger, already generating waves of 20 feet. So a lot going on in, in the Western Pacific, not much going on in the Atlantic. There was some activity across the United States today, high winds and different places along the eastern seaboard. A big high profile shelf cloud that I want to share with you guys that went through Missouri. Just an absolutely stunning video that was sent in today from Carthage, Missouri. Here's the video right now. Was sent in by uh, Sarah uh, Jane Gomez. Check this out. Look at that thing. There it's a single layer. And as they pan to the left, it becomes a double-decker. Look at that. Unbelievable. And this video footage is right at three hours old. That just went through Missouri. And I'm going to show you on radar, the storm is still actually on the radar. In fact, I took a screenshot of it. You could actually see from Carthage looking to the northeast, as they indicated in the video right here, is where they were at, and there's the, the storm cloud that they, they just filmed a little over three hours ago. Just an amazing, very photogenic storm. Double-decker shelf cloud went through 
southwestern Missouri, and that storm, as far as I know, didn't generate any super intense storms or, or hail. I did see a, a few reports of high winds. There was actually a tornado on the east coast today. There was a, a report somewhere in the New York area, right there. Let's see what it says. Brief touchdown near Springfield Avenue in Springfield, New Jersey, confirmed by media radar estimates or confirmed by emergency management and radar estimates of winds of 70 miles per hour calling it an EF0, but nevertheless, there was a twister spotted just west of New York today. Some hail, high winds, looks like Wisconsin once again been seeing daily reports of severe weather in Wisconsin, Minnesota for the last month and a half, it seems like, just almost an everyday occurrence. Here's the storms on the GO-16, the infrared, and you can see the storm that went through Missouri that produced that very photogenic shelf cloud right through there. And they were looking to the northeast. Just an incredible video. Here's another look at it. And there's the location they were at in Carthage, right down here, looking to the northeast. And there's another look at that uh, double-decker shelf cloud great observation guys thanks for sharing i've also got some uh, new photos to share with you guys i put together a photo gallery i really enjoy the photos keep them coming and i try to keep up with them every day the best that i can i will get to them sooner or later here's a, another shelf cloud this is a roll cloud sent in by pam from illinois and this is so low it looks like you could reach up and touch it and like the one from Missouri, goes very, very far, looks like, in both directions. Somerset, United Kingdom, very prominent one feature here, but you look back here behind it, and you can also see another one. So that's yet another double rainbow, sent in by Gary from the United Kingdom. And this here, you have to look at it fairly close, but this was a very good observation by Tony out of Brisbane, Australia. There's a boomerang right there behind the clouds, up above the clouds. You can see the outline of a boomerang craft. I've actually seen one of those. They are very real, and they're actually very, very big. Carrizo, California. The photo was sent in by Randy and Deb. It was taken by Terry, and it was the only cloud like it in the sky that went right over her house that's out in the country. And the viewer, Terry, said she felt something like static or felt something kind of weird when she looked at this cloud. She said it didn't look like a normal cloud. This is the original photograph that uh, was sent in to me with three other pictures. I'm taking a closer look at it now because it doesn't look like a typical cloud. And I found some features on that that kind of suggest that it may have been something else. Missouri, Kristen, that speaks for itself. Just unbelievable. Missouri's had some incredible skies these last 24 hours. Great job, guys. Sergeant Sid from Tennessee. Do you see it? Look right there. Noticed a triangle, maybe two. I did adjust the color and lighting on this photograph to pull them forward, but great observation by Sergeant Sid out of uh, Tennessee. Champaign, Illinois, Nick. The sun sitting right on the horizon. Great photograph. Another great photograph here from Fresno, California, sent in by Ameritech. I've got a whole slew of orange photographs, and then we've got purple photographs of the sky. This one here was sent in by Margaret from Mount Bethel, Pennsylvania. Beautiful photograph. That's a hallmark moment right there. JT, I'm not exactly sure of the location, but that is one ominous looking sky. This photograph here, gentleman by the name of Jason from Sebring, Florida, noticed something up in the clouds, and, and the sky was orange. And there was an object up in the sky, wasn't a cloud or anything, there was something over here to the right that he was trying to get a picture of. I zoomed in as close as I could get and really don't know what it is. It does look like there's some sort of a round object up in the sky behind the clouds. And it was an orange sky at that. Now this I've modified a little bit. What I was trying to do was pull forward any features maybe on that round balloon, craft, whatever it may be that was up in the sky. but. A little tough to do that was the best i could get but that was a good observation he did notice something up in the sky patricia from orlando florida noticed what looked like a dolphin jumping over the sunset beautiful ken s another beautiful sunset orange skies had a, a whole slew of orange sky photographs come in buford georgia 
sent in by Robert. I mean, how do you describe that? Looks like a tsunami of, of cotton balls. Concord, North Carolina, sent in by Kim. Same type of clouds. Albuquerque, New Mexico. This photograph was sent in by Austin. He was looking to the east. This is looking east as uh, the sun is setting in the west. So the sun is opposite of those clouds right there. Very good observation by Austin out of New Mexico. Don't know what's going on here either. United Kingdom, David, some sort of big long streak in the sky above the sun. I don't know if those are clouds. Not sure what's going on there. Dade City, Florida, North Star Danes, more orange clouds. These look like they're sitting on the ground. Then we go from orange to purple and pink. Brisbane, Australia, Tony. Louisville, Illinois, Amber sent in three photographs. This is the first one. Here's the second one. This is like a, this is like a light burgundy. And then here's the third one. Look at that, just absolutely beautiful. Seriously. And another one here from Madisonville, Kentucky, sent in by Alicia. How do you describe that? Just, just awe-inspiring. Here's one here that looks like an angel kissing the sun or holding the sun or some sort of a winged creature up by the sun. Look at that. Good observation. That was sent in by Joshua. Called that one the sun angel. Very colorful rainbow here sent in by Kenneth. Not exactly sure of the location. This one here is sent in from... Plant City, Florida by Shawnee. This is the world's, or at least that's what I'm calling it, the world's smallest rainbow. Look at this. It's just right there in their yard. See it? Got a rainbow in their backyard. So we're seeing double high profile rainbows in the sky, and now we're seeing tiny rainbows in people's backyards. This photograph here was sent in from Norway. It looks like a gentleman or a person, some sort of maybe a monkey, setting up in the sky. You can see the, the, the head, arm, shoulders, neck, facial features. Just a unique observation, having a little fun with that one, guys. But once again, a big, high-profile, double-decker shelf cloud coming out of Carthage, Missouri. Look at that, sent in by Sarah Jane Gomez. We've got some activity over in the Pacific Ocean with regard to a couple of typhoons. One set to make landfall here in about 36 hours. The other one, not quite sure yet. It's a few days out. Dust moving to the north over in the Saharan area. So look for another possible increase in temperatures over in Spain and France and parts of Europe in the next few days. Don't forget to check out the website, MrMBB333.com. More new photos here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. You can send your pictures to reports at MrMBB. 333.com. The website's always linked below every video in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to Beat Brandon's YouTube channel. You can find it also linked below in the description box. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.